everything you need actually is just white paper and black ink or maybe graphic pencil and uh, that's everything what you need at the first look but uh, that's something that you need from the outside but from the inside you must have some kind of special readiness for making a drawing uh, or some kind of uh, concentration. That special state of mind, uh, many times I can compare with uh, some meditative experience or even with some kind of inner performance. And uh, after some time I really love the term drawing as event and uh, eventually I decided to make exhibition with this title. I like to think about drawings on the levels of energies and frequencies and vibrations and I do believe that uh, that whiteness of the paper has its own frequency and everything what you do on the surface of the paper um, is visible so every trace that you make or maybe a, a black ink or that graphite pencil has some kind of vibrations that you can feel I really like to experiment also with uh, different kind of uh, watercolor mediums such as uh, just wet paper and drops of black ink on the surface because um, in that way you can create um, shapes or forms which are abstract or maybe atmosphere uh, which is not controlled by hands directly. Uh, the only way how you control that process is on, on the mental uh, level. In the drawing there is no possibility to lie, there is no possibility to hide anything um, because the surface of the paper actually shows everything because it absorbs everything. Every trace that you make uh, on, in the drawing is visible. Uh, and even if you are working with a graphite pencil, for example, and even if you decide to, to change something, and maybe to erase some parts of the drawing, still that whiteness of the paper keeps a frequency of the traces of the graphite. And because of that, uh, you cannot lie, but actually you can uh, start to play with mistakes. And it happened to be that uh, most of my drawings uh, have um, a lot of mistakes, and I just love mistakes. <laughs>